हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग माय सेल्फ सी पटेल इज बैक विद एन न्यू क्वेश्चन एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट ए एफसीसी मेटल इज डिफॉर्म्ड अंडर टेंशन द टेंसाइल एक्सिस लाइज अलोंग 2 माइनस थ्री वन सेलेक्ट द प्राइमरी स्लिप सिस्टम सो देर इज एन एफसीसी मेटल इज गोइंग टू बी डिफॉर्म्ड अंडर टेंशन एंड द टेंसाइल एक्सिस लाइज अलॉन्ग टू माइनस थ्री वन सो यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द प्राइमरी स्लिप सिस्टम these are the four slip system you have given and you have to select the primary slip systems okay as you know slip occurs by dislocation motion and to move dislocation in a certain to move dislocation certain a stress must be applied to overcome the resistance to dislocation motion okay for to solve this problem you must know about the critical resolve shear stress so first of all what is critical resolve shear stress this is the stress that is the resolved stress at which slip occurs in a material with a specified dislocation density and purity and it is constant value and it is known as critical resolve shear stress so the stress at which slip occurs okay it the critical resolve shear stress and you also you must also know about the smith law and according to smith law primary slip system will be the system with the greatest smith factor so to solve this problem you must know about these two concepts okay so first of all i would like to find out the critical resolve shear stress the expression for calculation of critical resolve shear stress so this is our specimen you can see this is our specimen cylindrical and this is the direction of applied force so here this is the applied force that is f and force it will be equal to sigma into a that is the stress into this is the cross sectional area a of this specimen okay this direction is our slip direction this is our slip direction this is the slip plane you can see this is the slip plane this is the normal on the slip plane the slip plane is this and this is the normal of the slip plane so this is slip plane normal slip plane normal that is n denoted by n and this is our slip plane that is our slip plane this is the angle between the applied force that is uh, f and the slip normal that is phi and the angle between the applied force and the slip direction is the lambda okay so first of all i would look like to find out the tau r this is the resolved shear stress the value of resolved shear of stress or the stress acting along the slip direction okay to find the tau r that is the stress acting on this slip direction we have to find out the component of this stress along this direction so here we can say that the force here the force is f and we have to find the component of this force along this direction so this is our direction of force that is f and this is making an angle of lambda so the component will be that is the force along slip direction will be equal to f cos of lambda okay so we find we have calculated the force acting along this direction but to calculate the stress 
we have to find out the area of this slip plane so you can see this is forming an angle of phi with this normal okay so the area of this plane will be equal to area of this slip plane equal to a divided by cos of phi so now we can calculate the resolved stress along this direction that will be equal to the resolved force acting on the slip plane that is the resolved force acting on the slip plane that is f cos of lambda divided by the area that is a cos of phi this together will give us f y a cos of lambda and cos of phi so this is the resolved this is the value of or the expression of resolved shear stress and the value of resolved shear stress at which the slip occurs in a given material with a specified dislocation density and purity is constant and this is called the critical resolved shear stress so the value of resolved shear stress at which slip occurs is called critical resolved shear stress so this is denoted by tau c that you will equal to a by a cos of lambda into cos of phi. this is our this is the expression of critical resolved shear stress okay also from the stress strain diagram curve we have learned that in a material sleep occurs of after the when the stress is greater than yield stress okay so this a by a can be replaced by yield stress of the material so we can also change the expression by it is a critical resolve shear stress this is the yield stress of the material this is the cos of lambda and cos of phi lambda is the angle between the applied force and the slip direction where phi is the angle between slip normal and applied force so we have calculated the expression for critical resolve shear stress okay this product cos of alpha into cos of phi this is called the smith factor that is the smith factor and for primary slip system the a smith factor for the primary slip system the value of a smith factor should be maximum okay 